Hey guys, I'm back with another video on my Fluval Evo 13.5. Um, so today I'm going to be explaining my food, what I've done new. You might notice already it's quite a big change. Um, I've done some extra stuff with the plugs, which I'll show you. And I've added a kind of wave machine. Kind of, not really. Um, and something that might be going on with the fish. Okay, so number one. Well, I'm not doing it in order, but number one, let's do the, the main thing that I changed. I've been busy the past few days, and that's been changing the uh, the bottom, the sand. Um, you might not, you might have noticed it. Um, I did, uh, well, last video, I had the Red Seas Ocean White Live Sand, um, which was really fine. It was, it, it was like the finest thing ever. Um, it was pretty much sugar, probably finer than sugar. Um, and um, yeah, but it was it was too fine because of the flow that's in there, um, and the firefish keep um, keeps on because he's a goby. He's gonna stay kind of at the bottom. So every time he goes in his um, his hole, his little cave, um, it keeps on kicking the sand up. Same with the invertebrates; they keep keep on kicking up as well. It's just getting really annoying. So um, me and my dad, um, we got um, end of a siphon. It's kind of like a end of a um, siphon tube. Um, we got that in there, started su um, sucking the uh, sand up into a bucket. We got about 90% of it out, 85% of it out. Um, and then we got the other half of the bag, which my dad used for his tank. Um, it's the Red Seas, it's still Red Seas live sand, um, but it's the Feed You Pink. Um, which is slightly bigger and it has um, little pink stones in it that kind of scattered everywhere um, There's probably a few hundred in there um, But yeah, it, it still does look really nice. So it feels it feels actually it feels um, better as well um, Not that I'm gonna be like feeling up, you know, messing about with the sand um, But yeah, just it just got really irritating that sand keep on kicking up and it's not kicking up anymore You might still see a few spots in that but 90% of that is air bubbles, yeah, it's, yeah, air bubbles just floating around, that's from the pump, um, they'll go, I'll get to that, pump, kind of wave machine thing, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's doing really great so far, none, I haven't seen anything kicked up, um, whilst, so, if you've got your, if you've got, like, your finger and kind of run it across it, nothing would kick up, or maybe a tiny bit, but pretty much nothing, but with the, um, um, with the final one, the uh, ocean white, that was pff, literally you could just flick your hand on it a tiny bit, and those it was, no, it's was just getting so irritating. So I had to switch it out. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, poured it in, um, but, but the other night, the night before, um, I I got all that sand, all the Fiji pink sand, um, the one that's currently in there. Um, put it in a bucket and then we kept on rinsing all that um, milky kind of mu uh, misty stuff that was to it um, because I don't want the water cloudy for the video um, so we rinsed it out about maybe seven or eight times um, until it was getting pretty much clear um, and then the next morning we put it in well, we took the um, other sand out about 90% of it um, put this one in um, it did go cloudy only for about half an hour, hour, and then it was pretty much clear. Like you could still see through it uh, when you poured it in. Um, yeah, I had to uh, slot. I had to adjust uh, the rocks. The rocks. There was a whole pile of rocks down here. They're around here now. There's a few. There's there's a few down there. Um, that, down, on, up there on that side. Um, so yeah, great improvement with the sand. Um, yeah, really happy with it. Uh, let's move on. Two. Well, I'll just say about these rocks real quick. Um, I had a big pile of rocks down there, um, and all the shells were down here. They're still down here. Those shells. I took all the little pieces of rocks out um, while switching the sand out because it was getting quite annoying. Um, and then there's a few scattered all the way around here because this rock's really dodgy. It doesn't even stay in properly. Um, even when the sand co cooked up around it, it doesn't really. It's not really stable. Um, so I put it like that. It's a slight slightly different angle now um but it's still a cave no one really swims through it but it's cool to look at um nothing else i've changed with the uh, rock at all um so yeah that's the sand rock covered 
Next, um, I'll just quickly mention these plug sockets. I'm gonna have to change the camera around. So let's go down here. And look here, zoom in a tiny bit. There we go. All right, so this is just take 30 seconds. I've now labelled them and I had to put sellotape over them because these aren't pieces of paper, they're like sticky pads, but they're not even sticky. Well, they are, but I think it's because these are warm, um, maybe. Um, they kind of just, they don't really stick properly. Um, so I just got sellotape and sellotape them over. So this is the P600, um, so pump 600 litres an hour. There's an LED, which is the light, um, LED. Um, don't really need to, you know, fuss about with that. There's a P300, I'll get to that in just a sec, and there's temp, which is temperature slash heater. Um, so this is your whole heating system, this switch. Um, uh, yeah, go back to this 300, that's what I'll go to now. Um, because that label, I told you it would take 30 seconds, there's nothing to say about, about them, apart from I labelled them. Um, because there's been a few times where I have um, accidentally switched the ring, um, wrong things off, and it's, you know, it's cool, I like being organised. Um, so that's the plug sockets. Now, what we'll do is I'll actually take you out. Blech. Right. And move the chair. And move my bag. Blech. And two seconds. Blech. Right. Now, let's go to this. So you probably didn't see it. Um, I don't think... Did I have this installed in my last episode? I forgot to check. Um, anyway, if I did or I didn't, I don't know. Um, I might have said this in my last episode. I can't really remember. I might have. Um, but I'll just mention it now. Um, this is my pump that I added about a week ago. Um, just for the extra flow to go circulating around. And I got both of those points up there to just get rid of the, uh, the surface scum. So if you look up like here... You can see the water comes out there and it goes kind of circles round and down the overflow. Um, it's much better and it kind of, and I've got a kind of method to feeding now as well, which I will do a feeding video in the next couple of weeks. Um, so probably looking forward to that. Um, and then this, this pump is just for um, in the tank kind of circulation um, because there wasn't really that much of them having that pointed out up as well to get rid of the uh, scum at the top. Um, so that's the pump. I, I think I did mention that in the last um, video, but that's why it says P300 because that is um, it's the same pump as what I've got um, in there, my main return pump. Um, but that's just the smaller version, the 300 litre an hour. So in there is 900 litres an hour going through like the the whole tank, um, which is more than enough um, before softies that I'm going to be keeping. Um, I've never actually looked through there. That actually looks kind of cool. Whoa, this is through the feeding hole. I've never seen through there. Well, I have, but not. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, um, yeah. Next, I got to go onto food now, um, because I keep on forget to mention that. I nearly did again. Um, so let me get you back in the tripod. One sec. Right. Okay. Um, food. Let's. This might take a couple of minutes. Um. I'm feeding the best food. Hold on. Doing a little balancing game. Blech. Right. Food. Food. Right. Can you see that? No, you can't. So we'll move on to the table. Right. So here we go. Here's the food that I'm using. Um, this is the new life spec. This is at this actually recently came out. I think. Um, this is the new life spectrum probiotics, which is. I'm not saying, oh, it's, yeah, it's probably one of the best foods ever. Um, it is the best food ever because it's got everything. Trust me when I say it. It's got everything in it. It's got meat. It's got vitamins. It's got minerals. It's got vegetables. It's got brine. I don't know. It's got literally, you name it, it's got, it's got it in it. It's all just compacted. Um, and you would think all that would be compacted into quite a big piece of food. But it's not. You got that seed, that's nice. Right. It's just really fine. Look, it's pretty much it's finer than the sand I got in there. So it's pretty much like look. It's just like oh it's going out of focus. But yeah, it's pretty little bits of looks like sand. Um and this pot will last you years, literally. 
I was running, I had, well this pot for instance, I was, uh, I was using for about eight months, seven months, and that was, wasn't even full to the brim. It probably still is. Yeah, I was using that for eight months. And look, it's dropped by like a millimetre. You know, this will, this thing will last you years. That um, on the on this tank, it easily crack four years. Um, I I don't feed all these. It's just the probiotics because that's the new one out and it's the best one here. Um, and then there's Thera A, which is like a little bit of um, garlic to it, so it's got an extra scented, um, so, so they can track it easier. And it's slightly larger as well, um, but it's still 0.5 mil. Same with the probiotics. No probiotics. Um, but this is the um, this is the standard spectrum. Still amazing food, great. Um, 0.5. It's just this is probably the finest food ever. Um, but what is good is what flake food. It, uh, it was one type of flake food. If you turn this and a whole there was a massive big dip in it. There's still a tiny dip. But it's tiny. It's actually about a millimetre. Um, but there was a massive dip in it. You just oh, it was stupid. Um, yeah, I would say there's only one negative of thing about it. It's 14 quid. That is, I wouldn't say it's a rip-off. It's definitely worth your money. This one's 8 95 Just because this is new. This was 8 95 as well, the uh, standard. Standard, 8 £9. Pound. Um, Fear A, £9. Pound, but the new one is £14. Pound. I do recommend you get this. Um, it does add um, colour to your fish as well. Um, a lot. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the food. I also do, oh, well, that's the spectrum. Um, algae wafers. I do, for the shrimp and the crab, um, I just take one of these out, crack it in half, dip it in, uh, probably just once a week, just for a treat. Um, so let's just get one out and show you. Um, yeah, they'll probably munch on this, um, for about, I don't know, an hour. It does take quite a lot, long time for eating, so it does last them. Um, you could even put a quarter in. Um, again, last year about a year. This is lo there's ugh, hundreds, maybe about a thousand in here. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm feeding, if you wondered. Um, and I'm not switching, no matter uh, what you suggest, no matter what anyone tells me, I'm feeding Spectrum. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. It's just really, really good. Um, and the fish do really like it as well. Um, and occasionally, um, well, every Tuesday, today's my, oh, I'll do it tomorrow then, um, I would feed brine shrimp. Um, my fire fish eats it, I don't know if my clowns eat it yet, I haven't done that. I will tomorrow though, I will feed brine shrimp. Um, I'm sure they'll like that, just for a treat. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm feeding. Spectrum. And my balancing game again, let's go. I just keep it. In the corner of my room there. Let's keep it in this corner here. I've got kind of shells there. I can't do this one-handed. Um. Ugh. Alright, yeah, just keep it there. It's easy to grab. I don't keep I used to keep it in my drawer, uh, but I've just moved it there because it's easier to get to. Um so I think we've covered everything. So we covered um sand, rock. Um, my little tags things on there and my uh, food, I don't know if I already said that anyway, I've mentioned everything apart from my fish business, um, which I'm going to have to go into more detail in the next video, which I might have a new fish um, because the fire fish keeps on kicking, the, well, kicking the sand up a tiny bit and it's not even coming up, it's a very nice fish, but what's the point of it being nice if it's never going to come out, I mean, that's just stupid um so I probably am going to be getting rid of the firefish, unfortunately. Um, Sabre, um, remember I named him. And then we've got Little One, that's Raven, and the uh, bigger clownfish is uh, Tidal. Um, so unfortunately we're going to uh, have to say goodbye to uh, Sabre. Um, but he was doing okay, he was eating, but he's not really coming out that much. Um, so I'm going to switch him. But what I'm not going to say, it's going to be a surprise, so you're going to have to be keeping up with the videos um, to find out. Um, so I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, I've cracked a lot of stuff, but I had to get, I had to get 
get it done. I uh, was going to wait till tomorrow, but I just wanted to get it out of the way. Um, so I guess that'll do it. Um, remember, subscribe. Um, my dad's channel is also going to be in the link, a link in the description. Uh, it's called Nathan Willard. Um, if you just search it, I will be top of the list. Um, should be. Um, yeah, he's got videos on his own tank, and he will go into you know, um, better detail on the spectrum because I. I know quite a bit about it, but not every single detail. But I got I covered the important stuff. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed making it. Um, and you'll see me in a week, probably with corals. Probably, not percent sure. Uh, bye.